Welcome back, mighty sons of God. This is the Rhapsody of Realities, and our man of God would like to share with you on how you can frame your world according to what the word says, because your proclamation makes it real. Taking the theme scripture from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, it writes, We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. For your faith to produce results, not only must you know the word and have it in your consciousness, you must speak it forth. The power is an affirmation. We believe and therefore we speak. If you don't say it, it will not happen. The word of God is truth. It is already established in heaven. Psalm chapter 119 verse 89 says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. But it becomes settled in your life by your affirmation. The way it works is this. You keep the word in your consciousness through meditation. Then your confession or proclamation establishes it. In Mark chapter 11 verse 23, Jesus said, Whoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. When the word is in your heart, and spoken forth, it becomes a creative force. Remember, God's word created everything. Therefore, it can and will create anything. Whatever you desire today, the power to make it real is in your mouth. Jesus said, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things. And you can read this in Luke chapter 6 verse 45. Through meditation, you create good things in your heart. Then, just as the Father did in the book of Genesis, after incubating on the earth's chaotic mass, you release words. Words are things. They have creative energy. Use your faithful words to frame your world and program your spirit for success, victory, and ever-increasing glory. Wow! That was powerful! Our words ought to be filled with blessings. And what the word says, and praise God, we have been given heavenly vocabulary to speak forth. Now, let us take this confession together, and you may say this after me. I have been blessed with, and in all things, and the Lord has made me fruitful and productive. With my proclamations of faith, I disallow sickness, disease, infirmity, and weakness from my body, and banish trouble, depression, poverty, and frustrations from my life and family. Health, strength, and abundance are my birthrights. I walk in the glory of God, manifesting the righteousness of Christ. Hallelujah! To study more on what the Word says about how much power your words hold, you may look further into these following scriptures. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, in the Amplified Classic Translation, and James chapter 3, verse 2. Praise the Lord for the word we received today. Hallelujah. To get the full daily devotional, click the link in our description and download your Rhapsody of Realities for free. Enjoy listening to the message being ministered like this? Then subscribe and be an extension of the gospel as you share this video on your social media platforms. Give us a like or comment in the section below to let us know you were blessed. Work the word today and come back tomorrow to be refreshed. Glory to God. We trust 
you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.